Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the eighth lesson on airframes, engines, and systems. We're going to be discussing the landing gear, brakes, and flaps. The landing gear is that part of the aircraft which is uh, responsible for absorbing the shock associated with landing, as well as keeping the aircraft rolling. This landing gear can be fixed gear or retractable fixed gear. It does not move in a retractable. It moves into the wings or the fuselage for lower drag. The primary design consideration of the landing gear is it must be able to absorb landing impacts. So you have some sort of shock absorption mechanism. Common in light aircraft is a spring leaf, just a simple uh, rod or bar of spring steel. You can also have a split axle or an oleo. An oleo is uh, most similar to what you would know as a shock or a strut in a car. So another example of a landing gear, if you look closely inside those aerodynamic fairings at the bottom that kind of look like little wings, uh, is a set of bungees. And uh, those, that's called a split axle type landing gear. And then as you land, those bungees uh, provide the uh, shock absorption for landing. Here's an example of a retractable landing gear. The wheels, the landing gear, the main landing gear folds into the wing and the nose gear folds into the engine compartment. And you can see here, this is a, uh, has oleos. The nose gear and both main gears have uh, oleos, so similar to a shock absorption, a shock absorber that are used for absorbing the uh, forces associated with landing. So retractable landing gear are usually hydraulically actuated, but sometimes they're electric and sometimes they're mechanical. You just pull a, a, a lever or sometimes a kind of a ratchet to ratchet them up, but that's uh, pretty rare. On flaps uh, or on large aircraft, the flaps are typically hydraulically actuated and brakes are almost always hydraulic. I'm not really sure of any aircraft that have mechanical brakes, maybe some ultralights would. The advantage of hydraulics is uh, a big mechanical advantage. You have large forces and uh, you use uh, a series of accumulators and you have easy routing it's very easy to run a hydraulic line compared to a series of cables and pulleys the disadvantage of hydraulic is it's heavy you have accumulators hydraulic pumps hydraulic actuators flaps are usually electrically operated on small aircraft although uh, a lot of aircraft have mechanical flaps on the left is uh, it looks like a piper cherokee as that big lever, you push the button and pull the lever, same as you would kind of a park brake and that lowers the flaps. But uh, most modern Cessna aircraft training airplanes are going to have electric flaps, as you can see on the right. The advantage of uh, electric flaps is it's simple. You have existing components, such as the battery or alternator. You don't need any uh, new hydraulic components. And the disadvantage though is the uh, electric system is just not very powerful when you compare it to a hydraulic system. Okay, remember the landing gear is designed to absorb landing impacts, it may be retractable and then use mechanical, hydraulic or electric power to retract the landing gear. What is the most important role of a landing gear? A, absorb landing impacts. So yeah, that's probably right. Let's keep reading though. B, provide a rolling surface for takeoff. Yeah, it does that. Uh, the landing gear is responsible for landing the airplane roll, but it's not its most important role. C, retractable, D, hydraulic. Uh, so those are methods of retracting a landing gear, but that has nothing to do with what the role, the purpose of a, of a landing gear is. So correct answer A. That concludes this lesson on uh, landing gear, brakes, and flaps. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in our next lesson.